Hello, welcome to Gotta Be Real Movie Reviews with Tommy and Jules. And right now we're reviewing the Oscar winning movie, Parasite. Woohoo. Yes. Kind of sounds creepy, but it's not. Right. It is a, it is a comedy <laughs> drama thriller. So you got the thriller in there. It's I not definitely scary. got thriller drama. Yeah, but not it's not comedy. scary. Yeah. You did it? I did not find anything funny. I got a little bit of the comedy. Okay, let me just tell you <laughs> yeah, right up not. front, this movie is 100% subtitles. It's in Korean. The stars are Korean, so I'm not going to go through their names because I don't think you know who those mm -hmm. people are. I'm sorry. People. No, that's cool. I mean, um, you know, I, I love watching movies where they're like newcomers or whatnot. And, and if you can watch something with subtitles, then I mean the movie is good. Oh, yeah. So, I yeah, I like that. All right. So, Parasite. It's about a poor family, the Kims. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and they con their way into the Parks family house mm -hmm. and they're rich. The Parks are rich um, as servants. Their life is complicated when their deception is threatened with exposure. So This movie is... I would like to hear your opinion, what you think about this, because I'm kind of on a fence about what I thought it really meant and like most directors want you to form your own opinion. They don't want to tell you what to feel. They don't even want to tell you what the movie is about because as audience, we enjoy doing that. Mm -hmm. So I think in this movie, I kind of got the idea is what I got from it. Parasites still have parasites, still have parasites. No matter what you do, because they're, they're conning people, everybody is leeching off of somebody. Right. And the reasons might be okay for you, but you're also putting somebody else in danger. So I got a lot out of this movie. It was like really layered and it, it gave us some twists. Mm -hmm. So I really liked Definitely it. I mean, it took twists. me like if I'm watching subtitles, you've got five minutes. If I'm not into the movie after five minutes, I'm turning it off. Cause that's, I right. mean, we're looking at two hours watching subtitles. Right. Right. It got me. It got me. Yeah. And it's a lot of, uh, kind of our pop, pop culture right now is, you know, people pure sites and let's lock them. In, you know, it's a whole big thing. But it constantly, what goes around comes around. It's what I got from the movie. What about you? That's basically kind of what I got from mm -hmm. it too. Yeah. These people were really, really sly. Oh gosh. They, they were professional con artists. Yeah. They get into the house and the, first the son, it's, it's a mom, dad, <laughs> son and daughter. The son gets in as a tutor and then he finds a way to get his sister mm -hmm. employed by them. Then they go further and get their uh, dad employed mm -hmm. by them. And they get somebody fired in the process. And they just sit in the and, house kicking it like it's yeah. their house. Oh, like, yeah. You lazy leeches. Just comfortable. Making a mess. Karma's coming back for you. Yeah. Like one of the ladies said in the movie, she's like, you're just in here just getting comfortable, making yeah, a big old mess. Like, and you, you don't even know. You don't pay when they're bills or nothing. Like, they got trash all over the floor. Like, oh, y'all yeah, really just know Drinking up not... their liquor? Yeah. Like, what what you Come on. Who does that? No. Where'd they do that at? Dude, it was... <laughs> I was kind of Korean? surprised by this. Yeah, but I mean, I did like this. I did like it. So something different. Yeah. Yeah. As far as your kids watching it, first of all, subtitles. Do they mm -hmm. want to sit there and read that? Then I don't know. But, but if they are watching it with you, if you're like, honey, come and just watch it with me. Mm -hmm. Let let us tell you that the end is a little gory. You want to? Is that too strong though? It's too strong. Okay. The <laughs> end has some scenes that you might not want the little little ones to see. Now, a teenager or something. It's probably PG-13. No, it's rated R, but mm. a teenager, I'm sure they can see very it. much rated Fine. R in here. I, I think this is a I great movie either. for a couple on a Saturday night. Mm -hmm. Maybe when the kids are not there. Just for you guys for you to grab know, some wine and chill. If and... I'm with my man on Saturday night, I don't want to... I don't, <laughs> don't, don't want to I don't want to read a movie. You know what I'm saying? I'm a film lover, so I do. Oh, oh well. So I'm just... I'm a I'm film lover, saying. too, but I still don't want to read a movie. And actually, this movie just is like... Just like a Hollywood <laughs> shuffle. He said, I'm not going to take my girl to I'm a duh, I'm a duh, I'm a duh. Uh, <laughs> forget that. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I That's what I would recommend as far as this movie goes. Um, I actually um, pulled it up on Google Play. It's at the theaters, but you can pull it up on Google Play. I think it was like three ninety nine if you just want to chill in the house. Right. I saw it on Voodoo. But this is kind of so artsy. Voodoo, I'm curious so. what everybody else thought. Um, yeah, let us know. I don't read the um, synopsis of movies before I go. If I see the previews and it looks kind of interesting, I like to go from there. Because I don't want my opinion to be thwarted by somebody else's opinion or right. influence. That's just me as a, as a film lover. So I would say go ahead and see it. I'm going to say I'm going to give it three and a half clappers just because of the interesting twist that it has on it. 
-hmm. And you can tie this in with a whole lot of pop culture right now, a lot of stuff going on in the news. So I'm gonna give it a three and a half cloppers. What about you? You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and give it, mm, I was between three and a half and four. Mm -hmm. But I think I'm going to give it four, even okay. though there's subtitles. Like you said, normally I see something with subtitles on like next, mm -hmm. but this really caught my attention. I mean, when I even think about the movie, I don't really remember reading the subtitles. I you just see? remember what was said. Yep. So. That's what happens when you're watching something good. Like I, um, the girl in the spider's web and all those, the first time I watched those, it was in subtitles, but the movie was so, oh my gosh, all those sequels are so good. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, you, you won't go wrong with this. Go ahead and see it. Like I said, artsy is a little bit different, so don't go in and expect, you know. I don't even think it's, it's too artsy. I thought it was. As I've seen some artsy movies, I'm like, what the heck is going on? Well, this one, slim, I, this but... one, you know what's going on. So yeah. artsy movies, a lot of times, you don't know. Like, who is that? I've seen a movie. I saw a movie. They don't even say the people's names. So then when the credits roll, it's woman in yellow, woman in white. Suspiria. And I, that's Suspiria is, is... Well, no, I mean, that's how Suspiria was artsy yeah. to me, but a lot of... It was also kind of gory. Yeah. But... You just got into the movie just like in the middle of them doing their thing mm -hmm. and, and instead of them saying, <coughs> excuse me. There's like, some good hey, lessons Tommy, if you're an artist. It's like, hey, girl. You know, I'm like, uh, okay, I'm not with that. But this <laughs> movie is straightforward to the point. I like it. <laughs> I like it. I like too. it. So yeah, go ahead and check it out. And we want to thank you very much for tuning in to our review. Don't forget to like thank and subscribe. You. We've got Facebook. We've got YouTube. We've got Instagram. Instagram. Like and subscribe today. Do Bye. it. Bye. Do it. Do it.